In the kingdom of God, we have access to God. We have access. You know, we live in a world where there's limited access. We live in a world where there's a group for this, and there's a club for that, and there's an organization for this, and there's limited access for this and that. And uh, I'm a musician. Uh, I love playing music. I've been a drummer since I was about four years old. My favorite thing to do is to, when I go to a concert, I see somebody, I want to go meet the musicians. I want to talk to them, get to know them. Um, but as you know, you go to a concert of anybody well-known, the chances of you getting to meet them face-to-face is limited, right? Because there's limited access. There's limited accessibility in our world. There's so many things that we're told, well, you don't have the right credentials or you don't have the right um, connections or you don't have this or you're, you don't have enough money or whatever it may be. But in the kingdom of God, we all have access to God through Jesus by the Spirit. It does not matter who we are. It does not matter what we look like, where we come from, our history. We have access to God equally through Jesus by the Spirit. The kingdom of God is for anyone to come to God. Amen? It's for all of us to come to God. And so I would just encourage you to see that in a world where there's limitations, in a world where there's seclusion, in a world where there's sort of exclusivity, the kingdom of God through Christ is open to those of us who believe. Amen. Second Peter 1, 3, may God, may grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus. His divine power has granted to us, everybody say all things, all things, things, each and every part that applies. Um, You know what the, in the, in the Greek, you know what that word all means? It means all. All things. The, 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 uh, the word there, pas, P-A-S in the Greek, uh, literally means each and every part that applies. And if you keep reading, it says that pertain to life and godliness. The word life there is zoe life, which is meaning spiritual life and physical life. So God has given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. That means an, an inner movement toward God. Through the knowledge of him, that's Christ, who called us to his own glory and excellence. So God has given us, by his divine power, has granted to us, everybody say all things. All things. things. And that, that word there literally means each and every part that applies to physical and spiritual life through Christ, God has given to us. Acts 17 The writer of Acts says it like this, in him we live and move and have our being. In him we live and move and have our being. You know, when I got married, uh, my wife, Tara, um, when we first got married, uh, we first started actually dating. Um, She was going on a mission trip and she was doing the Daniel fast. And she was going on a mission trip to Indonesia and so she, she did a 21-day Daniel fast, and I had never done one before, so I decided, hey, I'm going to jump in and do it. I was not ready. I was not ready. If you've ever done Daniel fast, I was not ready for only fruits and vegetables and nothing to drink except water and maybe a little bit of natural fruit juice. And so um, I'm thinking, if I, like, as I, I, I liked her, I wanted to date her, I believed, I believed God was drawing the two of us together, but I was like, Lord Jesus... If I don't get to eat hamburgers for the rest of my life, this is not. And she said, I'm on a fast. And I went, whoo, okay, all right, okay, we're good. I thought that was how she ate all the time. I'm like, I don't want to eat seaweed and tofu for the rest of my life. I just don't. Um, If you eat that, that's fine. Uh, So anyway, she gets back from Indonesia and she says, oh, I want a cheeseburger so bad. And I went, yes. I knew you spoke to me. So we go and get a hamburger and she gets fries and I go to put my hand in her fries. Now, (laughs) growing up, her parents would take all the fries and dump them out. She had uh, four siblings total in the family. It was her and her brother and her two sisters. And they would dump the fries in the middle of a mound in the middle of the table. And all the kids had to eat their burger first before anybody could get fries. So it was just a race to shove the burger in to get to the fries. 
And she was always mad because she, did, she felt like she didn't get enough fries. So when I put my hand over to get fries, um, let's say we had our first relationship encounter. We had a healthy discussion. And she said, you can have anything you want. Everything of mine is yours, but get your own French fries. She wanted all of the fries. And to this day, I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old that get their own fries. Don't touch mama's fries. And so, um, anyways, I just thought it was funny. I thought about that when I was thinking about this. You want it all, right? We want, we want things, that, things we want all of, don't we? We want all of it. Whatever you have for us, God, we want all of it. And so what Peter says to us here is that through God's divine power, he has granted us all things that pertain to life and godliness. He's given us all the fries. And so we have access, Ephesians 2.18, for through him, that's Christ, we both have access in one spirit to the Father. Both means Jew and Gentile. Uh, Ephesians 2 is the chapter about unity between Jews and Gentiles, how God has brought down the wall of um, division between the two. We have access to God through Christ by the Holy Spirit. 